excited today. I'm pumped because uh, today I thought about doing so. Actually, I didn't think about it today. I thought about it yesterday and day before yesterday. And pretty much a whole month I've been thinking about it, but been kind of scared to do it. I mean, it's vulnerable. People think it's easy just to hit the record button and do it. What I'm thinking about doing is changing from tips of the day, landscape, outdoor living to more of a vlog style. the outdoor living hey what's going on a little excited today uh, I was talking to some of my buddies and I said you know what I think about doing to um, my new my video channel uh, for VizX design studios is do kind of more of a daily rundown vlog uh, about what we do during the day I mean I get a lot a lot of times uh, when I'm out and about you know how it is you're talking telling people about what you do and people are like your landscape designer you do well get you, you guys don't do anything during the winter time that is completely not the truth. I, th I think we work all winter and we probably work more in the winter than we do the summertime. Actually, as a designer, I would rather do more of the design work in the winter. Uh, so a lot of times it's training um, our clients, the atmosphere and things like that on calling us in the winter time. Like give us a call, give me winter time, have us start designing your outdoor living space and blah, 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 and things like that. And then so that way during spring, you can get prices and get everything going. Cause a lot of times the spring is a rush. It's automatic rush. I, I guess it's mating season for animals. It's exciting season. It's when everybody comes alive. It's when all the plants started growing. So that's when the phone starts flushing. Everybody's calling. But what happens is once you're done with the design, all the contractors are busy. <laughs> you can't get any work done. So. I would rather design and do everything during the winter time and be ready during the spring and summertime is just pretty much managing all the jobs and things like that. Hey, hang out with me today. You'll get to see a little bit about what we're doing. This is my first one, so it's not gonna be long and it's probably gonna be some choppy stuff here and there. I'm also doing my own editing too, so not really all that great. So whose idea was it? to move to Chicago. I'm not just talking about me, but how the hell did 12 million people get to Chicago? I mean, it's like freaking zero or one degree out here. Like I'm watching this lens like freeze over. So if it does freeze over, that's what happened. It's freaking cold, what the hell? Hey, uh, just give me an update. I'm heading to uh, Menards uh, to drop off some of that stuff. Now we're gonna see if I can get in and out of Menards in like 10 minutes. I, I know it's not gonna happen but I'm gonna try. So if you see me wearing a jacket, <laughs> just automatically know it's cold as hell outside because everybody who knows me, I really don't have a thermostat in my body, so I don't wear a jacket. Right now, the car is reading zero. Zero, that's what the car is reading. Hey, on my way uh, to Bernard's, I thought I'd give some uh, outdoor living tips um, about winter time. Um, I really like designing more so in the winter time than anything else. I, I, I want to say like the, it's calm. Um, there's not really much coming at you. You can actually spend more time in the design studio and not back and forth at job sites making sure things is okay. Uh, most of the time I always set up uh, my office meetings or, or like coffee meetings um, every morning. I kind of got this rule that uh, Isabel and I have is that we have coffee with, uh, oh I need my seatbelt on. We have coffee with uh, with somebody every morning at least at least three to four days a week uh, we try to do it so uh, new people that you're networking with um, old clients that like say some contractors that you do work with that send you business I try to network and hang out with them uh, in order to build the operation I mean one of the things about um, this whole thing is you're constantly building you're constantly building a network you're constantly building clientele you're constantly building friends you're constantly building something and you're learning too I mean because these contractors are teaching you uh, you're learning from your suppliers and stuff like that to kind of get everything going I thought I'd do something really hard right in the beginning. It's a uh, blog in public. Um, I guess that's one of the hardest things I hear that people who do do the blogging and everything else that they're, I mean, it's kind of scared to kind of come out here in public and vlog. I mean, I understand you look crazy. People look at you like you're crazy. Um, so, but I'm the guy who faces the fear early. I go right after it. I crush it. United States Marine Corps, it's what we do. So uh, might as well just knock it out early. Somebody says something to me, hey, I'm vlogging, you wanna be in it? Say hi, blah, 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 go from there. Hey, um, but how many of you guys go to 
like the hardware store and just start looking at shit like crazy. Um, it's like uh, being a designer is almost like what Kanye said. You got, you ain't up on this. Um, we have to be up on everything. <laughs> pieces me every time because when I go to the hardware store I go through every aisle as if I wasn't even, as if I didn't come here yesterday I, I was here yesterday picking up parts and I went through every aisle but today I'm here again going through every single aisle I don't know what it is it's like I don't know am I taking a mental note of what's here so I know so I don't have to look around because you know it's a guy thing you cannot be you cannot ask questions about finding tools and parts at a hardware store you're supposed to automatically know where the hell you're going. You know, I don't want to rag companies or anything, but one of my biggest pet peeves is like the display area. You know, when you, when we watched like cartoons back in the day and they, they were selling the toys to kids, they had that whole environment that if you bought the toy, you thought it came with, it never came with the environment. Some reason like box stores and suppliers, they don't display that environment anymore. I, I don't understand. I don't want to talk bad about them, but, but if you have like the couches and chairs, why don't you put the whole living room set together? to show what the furniture looks like. Don't just plop it in the middle of the scene. You have the material, you got all the stuff in the store to do it. I don't know why it's done. I don't know why it's not done. You know, I'm gonna start designing uh, department stores, uh, entrance and exits, and I'm just gonna do one simple thing. I'm gonna make the entrance and exit the same door, just maybe long, and kind of tie them all together because this whole crap of going in one door for the entrance, and then walking out the exit, and walking a half a mile through the parking lot, to your car where you park because you parked it close to the entrance? I don't know, that just don't seem right to me. It don't row well. Menard business is done, and the next stop is uh, Starbucks. And uh, like I said in the beginning on one of the, the earlier posted, is that I work at one or two spots. If I'm talking on the phone, recruiting, building business, getting new clients, uh, cold calling is, is, is kind of what we have to do. I'll go to the hotel, the Marriott, or just kind of a quiet space. When I'm drawing designs, editing, kind of working on stuff, I like to go to Starbucks just because there's a lot more people there. Um, I get energy, uh, inspiration just by being around people. And then I'm a little talk head, so sometimes I'll get to talking to somebody, kind of create new friends. So it's another form of marketing for me. Finding a parking lot in this spot is never easy. It's always packed. So that must be a good sign, a good business, and people are doing very well. Yeah, once I go in Starbucks, I probably won't do any more uh, videoing just because it's, it's so loud in there. You probably couldn't hear me speak anyway. But um, yeah, I think I'll start editing this one. This will be the first one that I do and many more. I don't know about this everyday stuff because I still got to work. There's a ton of work. and There's a lot of editing involved in these blogs and things like that. Uh, to get everything done. So, hey, uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, make sure you share uh, the vlog, share the page. Uh, we're building a company. Uh, my tagline, we're always elevating the outdoor living. And the reason why the vlogs are, I just want to excite the outdoor living department. You know I mean, I was talking to my buddy, and all we do is talk about work. Like, really? Work, it may be fun to me, but work is not fun to everybody else. So we can want to add a little bit more twist um, to more than just work, uh, more a day in a life of what goes on in life and that's the starbucks uh behind me here at um naperville illinois uh is where i work at the starbucks i mean i go a bunch of different ones i just really like this one i'll show you some video of what it looks like on the inside look how red my nose is getting oh my god it's cold